sine, this is 1a, sine 47 degrees equals cos of x degrees. Now, what this marks is our first sort of foray into thinking about trigonometry, but without thinking about triangles. Because when you have a look at this statement, that 47 degrees, it doesn't have to be in a triangle at all. There's no diagram, no situation where there's a flagpole or something like that. We're just thinking about these sine, cos, and tan on their own terms. Okay. So to solve this, what I want to do is take what we've got over here, and rather than just saying, oh, it's true for some values, I want to state it in a way that captures the fact it's true for all values. So um, beside where we're going to answer this question, maybe put this in another color. If you can, we're going to put a big box around it in a second. If you have sine of some angle, let's call that angle theta. We use that Greek letter a lot to indicate an angle. Right? Then that's equal to the cosine of the complementary angle. That's what this is about. That's what co in cosine stands for. So here, to get from 30 to 60, do you agree that's just 90 degrees minus 30 degrees? That's how you get the complement. Down here, to go from 40 to 50, this is just 90 degrees minus 40 degrees. So generally speaking, the complement of 30 is 90 minus 30. The complement of 40 is 90 minus 40. So the complement of theta will be 90 minus theta, whatever it happens to be. Okay. Now, because this is what we would call a sort of symmetrical relationship, right? You can also write it the other way around. Sine of 90 degrees minus theta. This will be the complement of theta. You see that? So this is just like two ways of looking at the same thing. Just like in Pythagoras, you can use Pythagoras when you know the two shorter sides, and you can find the longer one, like this. But you can just as easily find out one of the shorter sides if you have this longer one. I can say 5 squared take away 4 squared, 3 squared. Same situation, I've just looked at it from a new angle. And that's what this is about. So put a big box around this. Okay. So how would I then state the answer? Because cosine means the complement, the complement of sine, I'm going to have the complement of whatever this angle over here is. 90 minus 47. What is 90 minus 47? 43, I think you'll find. Okay. <laughs> And again, because I'm always so big on this, if you want to check, you have a calculator right there. You can pop both of those numbers in, and lo and behold, whatever decimal stuff you have after that, um, you will get the same result on both sides. Okay. Uh, have a look at something a bit trickier, like E. Is it 3817? Is that what it says? Yeah. And what's the name of the angle? Cos M? Okay. Now this is the same setup, it's just that we're looking at degrees and minutes here, not just degrees. So I'm going to say the same thing over here, <coughs> bless you, that this guy over here is going to be the complement, because that's what co stands for, of 38 degrees 17 minutes. So it should be 9 degrees minus 38 and 17, okay, like so. So therefore I can say, oh. I could work this out in my head, we will in a second, but you can, you can confirm that because on your calculator, to input this, you just have to use the degrees, minutes, seconds button more than once. So it's a little bit awkward, but on your calculator display, if you type in 90 degrees, take away, or you, can just say, you can just say 90, uh, and if you take away 38 degrees, 17, and then you press the degrees, minutes, seconds button again, I'm pretty sure your calculator will still do that, which is actually not what we really mean, but that's just the limitation of the display. Okay. Hey, what are you looking for? Um, could Jennifer Doe and Michelle try and go to Mr. Hines' office? Sure. Um, Jennifer's not here. Michelle's here. Um, do you know where Mr. Hines' office is? Yeah. Thanks. <sighs> Cool. <laughs> um, yes, Isabel. Yes, you may. Okay, I th I'm pretty sure I heard the answer uh, 
once or twice. Can someone give me what it is? 50. Thank you. Okay. So, also didn't shut the door. Um, <clears throat> you can see in each of these cases, I found out what the pronumeral is by taking advantage of this complementary relationship. Okay? So in the first case, x is equal to 43. And in the second case, m is equal to 51 degrees 43 minutes. Okay? So this is a really nice, simple way to have a look at it. Let's just look at one more example before I set you loose. 